Hello, my dear ones. Happy New Year's Craft and Eve. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it this year. Uh, it's the last day of 2022, December 31st. And I just finished filming my Saturday morning makes, uh, I guess, New Year's Eve uh, video. So uh, I hope you guys will go and take a look. It's a new release from the Lily of the Valley Stamps, um, the LOTV Digi Shop on Etsy. And this is the Sweet Bears stamp set and just a couple of the cards that I made using it. And uh, so I hope you guys will take a peek at that video. I'm actually coming on tonight um, to share some more Mary mail. And I want to apologize to everybody that has sent me mail. Um, I am very busy dealing with family illness right now, and so um, having a night at home is wonderful tonight, and I'm going to open up Christmas Merry Mail. <laughs> so this first package that I'm going to open is actually from my friend Jen, um, Jen Levy, who is Strawberry Cream 39. Hello, Jen. Oh my goodness. Look at this cute tissue paper. I know that you guys all love Jen's channel. Um... I so enjoy watching all that she shares. She's an incredible crafter, quilter, maker. She just home decor, you name it, she does it. Look at how cute this tissue paper is. This is absolutely adorable. I didn't have any time to shop this year and find cute stuff, but I would have totally bought this tissue paper. This is adorable, Jen. I don't know where you got it, but that is the cutest little reindeer in Santa. And look at the little um, red snowflakes on there too. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to keep that and reuse it. So let's see what she has in here. There's some more red tissue paper underneath. Oh, and here's a card. Look at that beautiful piece of paper she used for the envelope. Look at that Santa. It says, between just you and me, I hope that some surprise for you will make this coming Christmas day the best you ever knew. Well, it already feels better. <laughs> We had a very interesting Christmas because my dad, as you know, is sick and uh, he caught COVID on top of what he's already going through. And then we all got exposed. So we all had to stay in our homes. It was a very different Christmas than what we had expected. Um, but there's always joy to be found no matter what. And uh, with our family, we just crack each other up anyway. And we celebrated over texting and Zoom and all sorts of stuff. We played some really funny games on Zoom. Um, on Christmas Eve with my niece and her fiance and that we just had so much fun my sister and uh, her granddaughter and and uh, my my brother-in-law and just we just had a ton of fun so um, you can always have find joy and find a way to be happy even amidst hard times um, look at this adorable card it says sending warm wishes oh this is a gorgeous impression obsession obsession stamp and I love how you've layered the mats on here with this deckled edge um, mats. This is so pretty, very prim looking. And I love this beautiful paper that you chose with the little berry sprays. That is just gorgeous, Jen. Everything Jen makes is beautiful. So if you don't follow her at Strawberry Cream 39, you should. We both are stamp ambassadors for Adornit and Diana Markham. And uh, I just have loved getting to know her a little bit better. Um, this year and uh, just always enjoy her channel. Look, she's got the little Stampin' Up! Gingerbread stamped in here. It says, Dear Jill, Christmas 2022, wishing you a basket full of loves of love. Thank you so much, Jen. Merry Christmas to you and Tim. Wishing you all the best in 2023. Love, Jen at Strawberry Cream 39. Oh, Jen, you've just warmed my heart, sweetheart. And I, I just have no words. Um, I am so blessed by this community. You all mean so much to me. And uh, what a joy to receive a package from you, Jen. It was a total surprise. Um, I'm gonna move the box aside so I can open the gift. Just set that on the floor. Look at the cute little tag she has on here. It's embossed in kind of a coppery colored um, or even a gold uh rose gold, but it says it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas, and there's two little gingers on here. Isn't that adorable? And she's dotted them with, um, you know, some little uh, dimensional stuff, uh, probably, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am tired. It has been quite a couple of weeks for me um, in a lot of ways, and uh I'm very happy to be home tonight. My son and I are going to watch a movie in a few minutes um, and just have a nice New Year's Eve. But I wanted to 
film the Saturday Morning Makes episode. I, I was working on a huge release Friday night and Saturday morning till about 1 p.m. today. I, I wanted to make a lot of samples because Lily of the Valley released seven stamp sets. And uh, I wanted to do them as much justice as I could. Um, so uh, I hope again that you'll go take a look at that video and see all the beautiful things. Wait until you see the new sentiment sets as well as the image sets. Let me set this tissue aside so we can look at this adorable little pillow. Oh my gosh. She has the gingerbread icon tag on here from Lily of the Valley. And that's where the new release is from. Oh my goodness. Look at the cute little rusty jingle bell. I love the rusty jingle bell. She's got it on here with a garment pin in black. She used three prim stars here and she's sewn it. Um, and then done this beautiful gingerbread and embroidery. Oh, this is so cute. I just love this, and it says cookies. Oh, my goodness. So this is probably going to go up either in my kitchen in my tiered tray, or I might put it next to my other gingerbread um, items in my living room. So I'll have to see where it looks best and gets shown off the most. I absolutely adore it, Jen, and I'm so very honored to have something that you made, my dear. Um, I look forward to being retired and having more time to create and share things with my fellow creators that are out there. Um, I did not mail anything this year, not a single card. I didn't write a single card to my relatives, and I have a big family. Um, but my priority has been with um, taking care of my family right now, my parents. So I, I hope you all understand, and I wish you all the merriest of Christmases. Jen, this just touches my heart, and I will treasure it, my dear. It is absolutely beautiful. She's got this wool felt back on here, and it's just so precious. I will always treasure it. Thank you so, so much for sharing your beautiful heart with me um, and your friendship. And uh, to everyone out there that uh, maybe is having a hard time this Christmas or is grieving or suffering a little bit with um, illness or whatever it is. I know that there are people that are ill. Hello to Kevin and my friend Susan and my dad and just so many people I know that are struggling. Mary and her husband. Um, a lot of people are having parents that are struggling or ill. Um, so my heart is always with everyone that is trying to make it through. Jen, this just touched my heart. Thank you so much. I'm going to also open this beautiful card. Look at that gorgeous glitter heart on there. And I don't want to show the front of it because I don't want to show people's addresses. Um, so let me just see if I can get this open. Like I said, I'm behind in opening everything. I haven't even opened my family cards that I've received in the past week or so. Um, so this is a beautiful card from my friend Sue and her husband Kim and their son. And it says Christmas list right here. And I love this glitter. This is really cool glitter. Did you make that? It almost looks like real glitter that she put on to tape or something. It's really sparkly. And I love this tree paper and the little snowflake paper. But it says Dear Santa. And you open it up. And this is my friend um, Sue and her husband Kim. And this is their son. They do a lot of traveling, and I always love seeing um, pictures from where Sue and her husband go. Um, it says, Dear Jill and Tim, Merry Christmas, Kim, Sue, and their son, Kevin. So just a beautiful card, and I just love that. hand stamped by Sue Lelly. If you don't follow Sue on Instagram, you should. She does a lot of things for Prima. She does classes at a lo local scrapbook store in Florida. So check her out. I love this card, Sue. Thank you so much for thinking of me, sweet friend. Um, and I'm so sorry I didn't get a card out to you this year. Um, it just wasn't meant to be this year. So this next card that I'm trying to pull out of the envelope and open is from my dear friend, Tina. So this is from Tina Kappa. And uh, Tina is Crafty Bean on YouTube. And look at this beautiful card. Oh my gosh, these are the prim stamps that we all fell in love with. I love how you have the button um, threaded through with the twine here. That looks really cool. And I love the papers that you used. And then she uses this beautiful die set that get, gives this beautiful stitching detail or kind of just a neat detail around the outer edges. So I love that. And I love how you colored this. So, And she embossed it, I think. And she also has some of that um, 
oh, what are those pens called? Shimmer pen or glitter pens? I have some. I can't think what they're called right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have too much on my mind and I, certain things just go out of my head now. <laughs> But um, this is absolutely adorable, and I love this image. I have this stamp set out in my Christmas bin upstairs, and I was hoping to use it, but I just ran out of time. It says, Jill and Tim, friends warm the heart. Isn't that the truth? Tina, you always warm my heart. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, plus many blessings, Tina. Thank you, Tina. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I know you went to see your grandkids and your kids and... I just hope you had a lovely time, and I know you're home now, so Happy New Year to you and your husband, and thank you so much for thinking of me and sending me such a beautiful card. I am so touched by everyone that shares joy with me and uh, shares their heart, and let me open one more. I've got one more here. How much time? I'm at 10.50. I'm going to do one more. Um, and then as much as I want to keep filming Happy Mail, you guys, I'm going to call it a night because I am tired. It's been a long day um, for me. So this next one is from my sweet friend, Patty O'Malley. Hello, Miss Patty. Hello. Um, so she sent a package, and inside is this envelope that says Jill on it. And let's look. Oh, look at this. Patty Bakes. You know, you guys are all so talented. I really... <laughs> I sometimes just don't feel like I can even create right now, but it's just because I don't have enough time on my hands where I can really relax and enjoy it. But um, this is so gorgeous, Patty. I love this image. This is a Penny Black stamp that I have my eye on. I have one of the Penny Black Angels, but I just... I love this image with the two together. I think it's so sweet. And look at how she added these beautiful flowers and greenery. She has the warm wishes right here. She has beautiful holly and a little bow tied um, out of twine as well as one with ribbon. Then she layered lace across the base here. I hope I'm showing it well. And she has two circles, you know, that are matting the beautiful image. And I love how you did the coloring. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but the way she did the glitter, both in gold and in white, is just so striking on this card. Oh, my goodness. It is gorgeous and absolutely stunning papers, too. I love this little elf down here. I think I know where that's from. I'm pretty sure it's Maja Designs. I might be wrong, though. It could be a different company. Um, it says, Dear Jill, wishing you and Tim a very Merry Christmas. I hope the new year is filled with joy and good health. Me too. Thank you for providing an escape from life's challenges with Saturday Morning Makes. You are one amazing person who I'm happy to call friend. Big hugs, Patty, 2022. Patty, I feel the very same about you, my dear. And I enjoy our talks when we have them. And uh, just so honored to share heart with all of you. You are all so talented. And... Uh, Every card I receive is just a work of heart, and it touches my spirit. And I keep every single one. I have a huge drawer that is just filled with cards that I've received over the years from everyone. I have every card that anyone has ever sent me. I don't get rid of any of them. They're all very special to me. And sometimes when I need a pick-me-up or just an idea for a card, I'll just go look through them. And it's the best inspiration in the world. So thank you to everybody that sends me things. Um, this is, was also in uh, Patty's package. Look at this cute tag she made. This is with the Quilted Winter um, die cut from Paper Tray Ink. It says, friends make the holidays even sweeter on the back. And uh, it's this adorable little um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year um, die cut. And then she has the Peachy King Gingers on either side. And I love, again, how you did the glitter on these and how you dress them. And look at the cute little faces. Just adorable. So, so sweet, Patty. How beautiful. I even love how you did the bling in the centers of the snowflakes and did the little bell with the ribbon. And inside, you guys, there's um, a stash holiday chai tea. And let's see if I can figure out what else is in here without ruining the package. I'm just going to slip that off. There we go. We'll leave that there. And let's see what she put in here. There's definitely tea, which... In all honesty, I'm probably going to go up and make right now <laughs> as soon as I'm done here because I could use a cup of tea. But it's in this cute little ho-ho-ho bag. 
And so she's got a holiday chai tea. So I'll be drinking that tonight. Right now, the mug that I am using, I believe, was one that Tammy, who is SS Crafter One, gave to me. So Tammy, Merry Christmas. You're making my holiday bright. Um, and I just send my love and prayers to, to you and to so many others. Um, but thank you for the teacup, Tammy, uh, I'll be using, and for the tea, Patty. So, um, oh, and this is a little magnolia. Oh, how cute is that? I hope you guys can see it. Is there a picture of the image here? This is the image that she sent me. Isn't that adorable? Oh, my gosh. That is just precious. So I'll have to color that up as soon as I can, Patty. That is just adorable. And oh, and she also sent cocoa in the mint, mint flavor. So mint and chocolate cocoa mix. Yum. I might have to put this in my coffee because I love, uh, or maybe I'll let Timmy have it. We'll see. <laughs> I should share it with Tim, huh? Um, so these are going to be our little treats tonight. We'll go up and make um, some hot cuppas, and we're going to watch a movie before the new year rings in. So um, I still have more happy mail to open from my friend Kat. Happy New Year, New Year's Cat. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk to you guys. Happy New Year's Cat. Um, let me see, who whose else do I have down here? I have a package from, do I even know who this is from? Hmm. Oh, I have a package from Joyce of Peddler's Pack. Joyce, I still haven't opened it, honey. I'm so sorry. Uh, and I have a package from Susan Laverty. Oh, geez, Susan, I haven't opened this either, and I told you I would. Um, so I'm, I need to do another video, and I have two packages upstairs, one from Lilibeth and one from Anna, and I think I have a few more cards too. So I'll be doing another video. It's just not gonna happen tonight, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but I just wanna thank everybody that thinks of me and uh, is so kind, that sends me messages, that sends me well wishes, that mails things like this. Um, you're all special to me, and uh, I'm so grateful for this Saturday Morning Makes community um, and for everybody that shares art. So God bless us, everyone. I'll be back to do another video as soon as I possibly can, okay? All right, Happy New Year. Let's welcome in 2023 by choosing joy, counting our blessings, and sharing our sorrows with those that love and care about us. All right, bye now, everybody.